हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी फूरियर लॉ ऑफ हीट कंडक्शन विथ एग्जाम्पल सो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द डेफिनेशन एंड इक्वेशन ऑफ फूरियर लॉ ऑफ हीट कंडक्शन देन वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द फूरियर लॉ ऑफ हीट कंडक्शन विद द हेल्प ऑफ एग्जाम्पल हियर फ्रेंड्स सी रेट ऑफ हीट कंडक्शन डिपेंड्स ऑन जोमेट्री थिकनेस एंड मटेरियल ऑफ द मीडियम एज वेल एज द टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस ओके हियर फूरियर लॉ स्टेट्स दैट द रेट ऑफ हीट कंडक्शन पर यूनिट एरिया इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द टेम्परेचर ग्रैडियंट ओके हियर फ्रेंड्स हीट फ्लक्स इज रेट of heat conduction per unit area is called heat flux okay and see here friends q dot upon a is directly proportional to dt upon dx here rate of heat conduction is this one q dot per unit area unit area is this one a and this whole term is called heat flux okay this whole term and is directly proportional to the temperature gradient okay temperature gradient is dt upon dx further it is simplified as small q that is heat flux is equal to q dot upon a is equal to minus k dt upon dx here friends this k is constant of proportionality and it is called as thermal conductivity okay here further we will uh, further it is again simplified as q dot is equal to minus k a dt upon dx okay this is the equation for rate of heat transfer okay and for here friends uh, see where q is small q is heat flux in watt per meter square this one q dot is rate of heat transfer in watts this one further a is area normal to the direction of the heat flow in meter square that is here friends suppose this is a wall okay suppose this is a wall and this is the direction of the heat flow and uh, it coming in coming from this side and then he direct here area normal to the direction of the heat flow that is this is the direction and uh, this is the surface as you can see this one this hole is the surface and this is the normal to the direction of the heat flow you will better understand this in the next uh, in our example okay further see here dt upon dx is temperature gradient in degree celsius per meter and it is also called slope of heat te temperature on tx diagram okay further k is equal to constant of proportionality called thermal conductivity of material and it is its unit is watt per meter degree celsius or watt per meter kelvin okay here this one okay further see here friends here as we know here as we have seen here in the equation there is a minus sign this one here here okay this minus sign is inserted to make the natural heat flow a positive quantity okay here as we know friends according to the second law of heat the law of thermodynamics heat always flows from flows in the direction of decreasing temperature that is from high temperature to low temperature thus the temperature gradient dt upon dx becomes negative so it becomes negative so we need to make it positive so we again here included in the equation this minus sign so here this minus minus is equal to become plus this one okay now let's see the example here see here friends the wall of a furnace is constructed from 
15 centimeter thick fire brick having constant thermal conductivity 1.7 watt per meter kelvin two sides of the wall are maintained at 1400 kelvin and 1150 kelvin okay respectively what is the rate of heat loss through the wall which is 50 centimeter by 3 meter on a side okay now see here friends uh, here we have given data as given data is equal to we have here this 15 centimeter is the thickness okay that is here let's take thickness is t is equal to 15 centimeter okay then we have constant thermal conductivity that is k is equal to 1.7 watt per meter kelvin then we two sides maintained at that is t1 is equal to 1400 kelvin this one and uh, t2 is here 1150 kelvin this one and uh, heat loss through the wall which is this is length and width of the this is length and width of the side of the wall so means here see this 3 meter is the length that is this one this is length 3 meter okay and this is 50 centimeter is this one 50 centimeter okay as we know here friends in our equation that is this one in our this equation we need area and we have here this 50 centimeter 50 centimeter width and this 3 meter length okay from this we will get this area okay as we have seen here this is the direction of the heat transfer that is heat flow and the normal wall is this one and which has these two dimensions from which we can calculate area so here this is rectangular area surface so here area is equal to length into width so here we will get 0.5 into 3 this is 50 centimeter is converted into meter that is 0.5 meter into 3 meter which is equal to 1.5 meter square okay now further here we have and also we need to co convert this thickness into meter so here it is 0.15 meter and here we have to find find is equal to what heat loss rate of heat loss rate of heat loss that is here q dot we have to find now let's draw the diagram to understand the concept here suppose here friends this is the furnace wall okay this is the furnace wall and it has thickness this is the thickness which is here 15 centimeter that is 0.15 meter here okay now see here this is and here this portion is maintained at t1 that is 1400 kelvin and this portion that is this side of the wall is maintained at t2 that is here uh, that is here 1150 kelvin and this t1 is 1400 kelvin okay now see here this temperature is decreased from uh, 1400 kelvin to here 1150 kelvin okay this is and he this is the heat transfer that is q dot here okay from this part to this part this is the heat transfer and here we have thermal conductivity of the wall which is 1.7 
वैट पर मीटर केलविन ओके थर्मल कंडक्टिव डेट इज के वी हैव हियर हियर वी नीड टू कंसिडर थ्री एजम्शन्स विच आर हियर फर्स्ट एजम्शन एजम्शन फर्स्ट इज स्टेडी स्टेट कंडीशन सेकेंड एजम्शन इज वन डायमेंशनल हीट कंडक्शन थ्रू द वॉल ओके वन डायमेंशनल हीट कंडक्शन कंडक्शन थ्रू वॉल ओके एंड थर्ड एजम्शन इज हियर कॉन्स्टंट प्रॉपर्टीज ओके कॉन्स्टंट प्रॉपर्टीज now let's analyze that is let's solve this this according to we know here friends according to the fourier's law here we have equation q dot is equal to minus k a dt upon dx okay here q dot is equal to minus k a dt is t2 minus t1 upon dx that is here in this case thickness okay further we simplify it q dot is equal to k a t1 minus t2 upon t we will uh, we interchange the this position so here t1 uh, here minus sign get cancelled so now here let's put the values q dot is equal to k is we have here 1.7 area we have 1.5 into bracket t1 minus t2 1400 minus 1150 upon t we have 0.15 so here after calculating we will get q dot is equal to 4250 watt okay this is the answer for this question friends so friends in this video we have understood definition and equation of fourier law of heat conduction with the help of example Thank you friends for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you